My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an incredible find for you right here. It's a 1966 Dodge Cornet 500. This is an original Survivor that you're looking at. This thing has original 34,500 miles on it. It's original paint. It's a 383 motor, red, red interior, bucket seats, center console, has factory air conditioning that still blows cold. It is amazing survivor quality. One of the best survivors I've seen. The interior can be packaged and sold as new. It's that nice in the car. So we have the original order form. Jack Spiller's Dodge sold it in Marietta, Georgia, March 22nd, 1966. Here's a certificate of Georgia title, which was signed by his widow. He passed away. She hung on to the car. I don't know exactly when she sold it, but she hung on to the car for a long time. That's why it's in such nice shape with such low miles. But she did sell it at some point to a woman. Her name was Carol. Carol sold the car. Here's her bill of sale. She sold it in 1998, actually to a car dealer, it looks like. And then the car somehow made it its way up to Minnesota. A collector has owned the car for 20-something years. Uh, so it's had three owners that we know of. Uh, pretty interesting history with some paperwork. I forgot to mention when it was sold in 1998, uh, when Carol sold the car, 31,148 miles, and this is notarized and signed. Uh, it has the original owner's manual. Under the hood, it has the fender tag, and it has the Serta card. It's still in its little uh, pocket up there. Go to volocars.com. As you can read all the specs, study pictures of the car and the documentation. And that's also where you find the prices on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale right now. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and then click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this car is really impressive. I was a, a non-believer because it's so nice, and I've scrutinized this car. It's the real deal. And then when I got inside the car, I was amazed. So underneath the car is a good survivor car, never been spray painted. So like I tell people, it's not glossy, it's not shiny, it's just good original. Uh, excellent original. The metal has zero rust. Up behind the wheels, the lower inner quarters, the frame rails, floors, immaculate metal, no cutting, no rot, no rust, really nice metal. Uh, the only thing that's been changed under this car uh, recently, the mufflers and tailpipes have been replaced. Everything else I believe is original and all the components look good. The front end bushings aren't cracked and falling out. It's not caked with grease. Uh, so the components look good. Looking up at the motor, it's clean. Uh, automatic transmission, of course. Uh, so just very, very nice original underside. It has drum brakes all around. They didn't have disc brakes yet. So the body, it's called Bright Red is the name of the color, and it shows really well. Body has zero rust, no damage, you know, no accidents or anything like that. The doors all line up real nicely, shut like a new car. There's two touch-ups on this door, a couple tiny ones there. So there's going to be a few imperfections in the paint. Uh, but again, for original, it's one of the best I've seen. This is all beautiful. Not cracking. Uh, the panels fit real nice. A little, little mark here or there. This side's real straight. Here's some touch-ups. Here's like something maybe fell on it, a little tiny dimple with a touch-up. Same thing, a couple dimples and touch-ups right here. This is all real nice and slick. The chrome is all real nice. Now you get 
a few freckles on the chrome, but it's all straight and everything fits so nice. But all this is original. A few freckles, but really nice. Not beat up. The white vinyl top's in excellent condition. All the glass is original and real clear, even the windshield. This all looks real nice. They did touch up with a brush right along this edge right here. Uh, optional bumper guards. Uh, bumper is a little patina, but it's straight, not beat up. Same thing with the whole tail panel. Really nice original shape. Here's a little dent in this uh, tail light trim right here. A couple little imperfections in the paint. A couple chips, three chips here. Uh, the wheels are in really nice shape. They're the 14 inch Magnum wheels. Tires have been replaced. All this trim is real good. Vinyl top's excellent. Uh, this would be a remote mirror. Yes, it is. 383 emblems on the fenders. I don't know if I mentioned that. 383 bucket seats, console, air, red. It's got a lot going on for it, just that alone. Uh, optional bumper guards in front. The grill, trim, all very nice. Little imperfection here or there. Some little touch-ups right there. It all shows well. It has the original antenna. The windshield's very clear, and that's an original windshield. That's real nice. We'll get right back to that. But this interior is just unbelievable. All the interior lights work. Uh, the seats look like new. The backs of the seats, the carpet. It's like I'm looking at it like this can't be original, but it's just enough patina where I do believe it is. The center console. I've seen beautiful restored cars and the console has pits on it. That one's mint. That's probably the nicest original Mopar console I've ever seen. In here, of course, it's all the original paint, zero rust, rock solid metal. It is a new reproduction mat. I lifted the mat. You got the uh, panel board there with the spare under it. Guess what's under there? Spare tire, I don't think it's ever been out of the car. It still has the nubs on the tread and the crayon marks on the tire. Never been out, never been used for sure. The jack assembly is still in here. Original weather strip, original sticker. So inside the trunk is really nice original, the new trunk mat. Getting back to the interior, the door panels are mint. The whole dash is mint. None of the plastic is cracked. No one's ever drilled holes or changed anything. The wood grain steering wheel's mint. It's not even worn. The factory knobs, radio, the AC vents, all that's mint. So it's got the CERTA card. That's like the warranty card. And the little pocket is right here attached to the car. And rarely is the card still in it. There it is. And the fender tag, of course, is still attached. And the number on the core support here matches the fender tag. Getting back inside, the headliner, the visors are mint. All the little stuff, the kick panels, the window cranks. I did notice there's one split right here in the armrest that's not worn. The backs of the armrest, Everything is excellent. Inside the glove box looks brand new. It's the original glove box liner, but the inside, the lock, the door, all of it, it's not even dirty. It's like spotless. Door jams are original, original weather strips. Uh, does have seat belts. They were still optional in 66. So it has red seat belts front and back. The backs of the seats, all that's real nice. None of it's cracked or broken. The cushion's still real nice. So back in the engine here, we tried the air when the car came in. It was actually blowing cold. That shocked me. Got the original 383. It's a four barrel. Everything is stocked. The valve covers. Uh, it looks like it has electric pump for the squirters. The battery's bolted down. It has power steering, the right shroud, radiator, stickers. Uh, everything is just as it left the factory. The metal is clean and straight. Heater hoses are hooked up. The horns are here.
So there you have it. This is an incredible find. We run across a few low mile cars here and there, but typically not a three to three big block red bucket seats with air. Usually what happens when you have a car this exciting, people aren't gonna let it sit. Someone in the family is gonna wanna use it or drive it. If it's a big brown four door sedan, yeah, those usually get parked and uh, you find those as survivors with low miles, but not something this hot. So that's one of the nicest survivors you'll find anywhere of any maker model from this era. It's one of the best I've ever seen. That's my impression anyway. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can get you financed. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.